We took a cab from Rome Fiumicino Airport to the hotel. It was a flat rate of 50 euros to the city center. Since it was close to our hotel, we visited Villa Borghese first. Villa Borghese is the third largest public park in Rome. It's situated just north of the city's historic center. The park was originally a vineyard. The Borghese family transformed it into a villa estate in the early 17th century. The Trevi Fountain is an iconic Baroque masterpiece completed in 1762. It's the largest fountain in Rome. The central figure, Neptune, is the god of the sea. The Trevi Fountain is about a 10-minute walk from the Spanish Steps. Our first meal in Rome was at this restaurant we found walking from Trevi Fountain back to the hotel. I forgot to take a video, but the carbonara was A+. Plus. This iconic structure hosted gladiatorial contests, public spectacles, animal hunts, and dramas. tickets from the official site for 18 euros each. Our time slot was 8.30 a.m., which was the earliest entrance available to book. As the temperature rises during the day and crowds are expected, we chose an early time. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Colosseum ticket includes entrance to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Palatine Hill, one of Rome's seven hills, is central to the city's ancient history. Traditionally considered the birthplace of Rome, it was home to several emperors and aristocrats. The hill's extensive ruins include palaces, temples, and gardens. You can look down on the neighboring Roman Forum from Palatine Hill. public speeches, criminal trials, and gladiatorial matches. Over centuries, it evolved with monuments commemorating emperors and significant events. Pantheon was constructed by Emperor Hadrian around 118 to 25 AD. It was originally built as a temple for all Roman gods. It features a massive domed roof with a central oculus, the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. Converted into a Christian church in the 7th century, it has remained in continuous use.
Also, it's said that one coin guarantees a return to Rome. Two coins bring new romance, and three coins lead to marriage. Borghese Gallery is a renowned art museum established in the early 17th century. Located in Villa Borghese, the gallery features a diverse collection of art from the Renaissance and Baroque periods. Tickets were already sold out, so unfortunately we couldn't get in. The tickets for the Vatican Museums were already sold out a month in advance. We're not a big fan of group tours, but that was the only way we could get into the museum. We purchased the group tour tickets for two adults for 206.28 USD from Get Your Guide. The ticket included the Vatican Museums, Sistine Chapel, and Basilica tour. St. Peter's Basilica is one of the world's largest and most renowned churches. Construction began in 1506 and was completed in 1626. By the way, photography was prohibited in the Sistine Chapel, known for Michelangelo's ceiling painting. This restaurant was a great choice for our last night in Rome. The service was excellent, and we even received homemade limoncello at the end of the meal. Before heading to the airport, we took a quick walk in Villa Borghese. Thank you for watching. I'll leave links to the restaurants and cafes we visited in the description. In the next video, we will head to the Mediterranean island nation of Malta.